few of them are familiar with this matchup. Uh, Leaf, I saw, yeah. Leaf, no, do you know a, why, uh, though? Okay, just want to say one thing before I go. Leaf, who is uh, unranked ice climbers from Wa Oregon, yeah, consistently be beats people yeah. in Washington that are ranked. So, do you know uh, why? I think we have I'm no ice out. climbers in Washington. There's no ice climbers None. in Washington. Okay, I'm signing off. Right. Low fat is filling in for me. Saying goodbye to Connor. Thank and you. Uh, well I'm taking my phone too. Oh, that's brutal. Dude. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for uh, having me. All right, so Big D and Vino. We'll see how this goes. Big D played very well against Sheridan uh, when he played. Uh, when he played him, there was a lot of desync setups with down B that were really nice that allowed him to sneak in up tilts and up smashes, and that's how he got ended up getting a lot of his kills. And he also did very well with Sopo when he uh, had to, like when he was stuck in that situation. Yeah, he did, a, he did a lot of great stuff against uh, Sheridan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we were talking about how Vino might be playing different than Sheridan. He, Vino is basically known for being a really, really patient player. Right. Uh, so, I think that might work to his advantage here. I remember Sheridan going in a lot, which was kind of weird as Puff. And I think Vino has the patience to handle the matchup right. better. But, uh, Big D, you know, he's a brawl player. He also has patience. Yeah, yeah, both of these guys, like, well, like, Jigglypuffs by nature are supposed to be patient players. Yeah. Like, that's the thing, uh, the standard set by Hungrybox. And, uh, like, I might get some hate for this, but Mango even, to a certain extent. Yeah. Like, even Mango knew when he was playing Jigglypuff, you don't go in all the time. You gotta, you gotta pick your path. Like, yeah. you gotta yeah. play to the character's strengths. You know, there's some variation uh, in how you can play Jigglypuff, but it's very obvious in what the best way to play Jigglypuff is. Exactly. And then you've got Big D over here. Maybe not the best way playing ice numbers maybe not the best way to play them mm -hmm. uh, but he's certainly playing them in a patient style that counteracts Vino's yeah so he takes the first stock uh, one and a half minutes in <laughs> one and a half minutes in. <laughs> gotta be careful this will be a longer set uh, <laughs> Sopo now for Big D we were talking about earlier like his Sopo is actually pretty good it, it put in some work on Sheridan so we'll see if he can do the same thing against Vino uh, any percent he gets here is good percent you know, 3%? It's 3% he didn't have before. Do you want to end? How, did, how well does Puff combo ice climbers? Um, I, you know, I really don't. Like, Puff can combo some characters pretty well. They usually have to be pretty heavy characters, and they, they have to be pretty big characters. Mm -hmm. uh, the smaller the character, the harder it is for Puff to combo them. Yeah, so it might be harder to combo Ices. Yeah, because Puff is a small character herself. Yeah. So I imagine it would be a little bit more difficult for Puff to do those combos. Uh, but since, like as you said, we got a patient player here in Vino, it's it's more about racking that percent on and going, okay, you know, he's at this percent now, I'm just going to wait. Yeah. Wait for my opportunity. I'm going to keep zoning, wait till he makes that mistake, and then punish. I remember Sheridan was catching uh, Big D out with a lot of up airs and uh, charged up smashes, like when he was recovering. So oh, yeah. I haven't seen much of that from Vino yet. He's been opting for back air a lot more, but maybe he'll incorporate it as we go on. Wow, excellent way to kill Nana. Oh no, still he, gets her back. The back, I. Oh, the back. oh man. Tossing live. <laughs> That's not, not a great way to lose a stock, uh, but good for Vino. And Vino is known for being able to hold hold the lead. So. Oh, is he? Yeah. So think, okay, so uh, where's Vino from? He's a Washington player? Yes, Washington. He's So right now, I, I explained to Connor, we have 6th on the BC PR versus 6th on the Washington PR. Oh, very. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. For melee PR. Yes. Okay. Wow. He's really good at spacing these bag airs. Getting a lot of damage off of him. I think he doesn't want to take too much more damage. He really wants to get this uh, kill quickly. He's not. Uh, there we go. That, that was good. Uh, unfortunately, what I'm not seeing from Big D right now is more of those desync setups that I've seen him using. There it is. Obviously, that didn't pan out for him, but uh, I think if he can incorporate that more. You can do a lot of cool things with desyncs, not just for wobbling. Yeah, yeah, a ton of amazing things. Not Although, a lot of. I, I don't know if handoffs work on Puff. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, I don't know 
what how many of those cool things will actually work on Puff. Yeah. Uh, because like I mean to be honest, a, there's a lot of things that just don't work on Puff that yeah. every other character can do to every other character. Yeah. But when it comes to Puff, it's really not that much of an option just because of her uh, her size and weight. All right, we saw Big D having really great recoveries with those side Bs in yeah. his match against Dr. Z, and he's showing that he can do it again. Yeah, he's really incorporating uh, not even side B just as a recovery, but also as an offensive tool coming back on stage. I remember you were talking about him coming directly onto Dr. Z with the side B. Like yeah, yeah, well, some, yeah, sometimes he would just interrupt him with it. Because he had, he had enough of a feel of what he was going to do when he was coming out uh, after him. Uh, but at some point, he did start interrupting him with back airs before he started that side B. Or it, I think it was another Ice Climber Flare, actually. And that's certainly an option because Jigglypuff has so many jumps that she can just go out there. Yeah. Follow uh, follow Popo offstage really well. Yeah. One I of think the it was... Uh, who was the... It was the Oregon Ice Climbers player that we watched. Leaf. Dr. Z play right after. No, not Leaf. It started with a Antic, Antic. Antic, Antic, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the one that I was talking about where he uh, he would interrupt his side. Yeah, he, he caught him. There it is. Nice, nice. Fino goes all the way out there, gets the back air. Only two minutes left on the clock. This is a time. This is so funny because I was just I was just overrunning uh, chaos the chaos stream mm -hmm. while uh, while Slash got some uh, video overlays ready. Yeah. And I was watching Brawl, and this is so similar to what I was yeah. watching. I was watching Ice Climbers versus Meta Knight, actually. Oh, this is funny. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, I mean, very kind of a Brawl-esque yep. match we're having. You have Vino, uh, like we were talking about. Oh, wow. Four back airs. All the way So we were talking stage. about how well can Puff combo Ice Climbers? Apparently yeah. pretty well. Appar yeah, apparently pretty well. Like, although, like if you, if you wall of pain somebody... Like, I think once you lock them in there, you're like, okay, I got this. And then yeah. you can just keep on going. Uh, there's been a couple of times where we locked them off stage and locked them on stage as well. That was the first time he was able to follow all the way through on it. Yeah, and that, that was the first off. time he followed it on Popo. He did it once to get rid of Nana, but uh, that was the first one he had on Popo. Yeah, so. and and so we've got a counter pick going to Final Destination. Now... This, this doesn't have a nickname for Ice Climbers, but it has been known as the Ice Climbers best stage, hands down. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, no platforms to run off to. You can't, you can't camp the Ices. Yeah. Yeah, well, they do have a pretty good projectile game, especially when they're desynced. And they can just, uh, they just kind of like stutter, stutter shoot projectiles out there, and there's just one coming, boom, 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 boom. Every few, like every few moments, uh, there's going to be an ice block coming your way. Yeah. And they can very, e very easily use that to uh, get you out of your comfort zone. I noticed, because we were talking about this a lot yesterday, Big D didn't wobble at all. And it, we're not seeing it here either. Uh, I wonder if he'll be able to like incorporate that in this set, or if he's just adamant about not wobbling. Yeah, and again, <laughs> again, he can totally do it. Yeah, I've seen him do it. it. He's done it to me. Yeah, exactly. So we we know he's done this. So I'm wondering why it's he hasn't shown it on stream at all. Yeah. Well, for whatever the reason, maybe he just wants to win without the wobbling. Maybe his wobbling's rusty. Yeah, that's maybe true. Maybe he just too. doesn't have faith in his wobbling. That's true too. I mean, wobbling, uh, obviously, as good of a technique as it is, it's not the easiest thing to set up, like, uh, especially in a high level match. You yeah. know, especially your opponent knows you want to do it a lot of the time. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, very similar conversation to, to what we had yesterday. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Big D is really trying to uh, just get some spacing in. He's really trying to rely on good spacing uh, to bait Vino in. Yeah. Which is, usually I would say that's a, a bad move. In fact, I would almost always say it's a bad move versus Jigglypuff. Mm -hmm. But it's also your best move. Because her spacing is just going to be better than yours. Yeah. Unless, unless you're Marth or you're Jigglypuff. Wow, that was a kind of an early kill. Or you have some sort of an aerial projectile. But her spacing is just going to be better than yours, just because Jigglypuff innately has yeah. such long hitboxes. Exactly. And she's, she can fade away after she throws out a yeah. hit so easily. So, like, it's it's less of, like, the matchup is less about outspacing her and more about outsmarting smarting her and going, you know what? Okay, you're coming in with these giant moves, but I'm going to sneak in under you, I'm going to sneak in over you. Yeah. The one thing I don't want to do is try and beat you in the air. 
So, uh, Vino evened it up pretty quick after Big D took that early stock. Uh, I think Big D's doing better. Oh, there we go. We're seeing the, the down Big D sync set up. That gave him so much ground needs to Dr. Z. I right, tried to bait him in with those icicles. And he's doing it too. Wow, he almost ended him with an up smash right there. Yeah, and you're talking about he can just keep throwing out the uh, the neutral B icicles. Uh, those are those must get annoying after a while. That uh, that is a thing. Like they do get annoying. Like there are certain characters in the game that just get super annoying, and it's like it's like they're not even like hard matchups or anything. They're not they're not like really great characters. They're just annoying characters, yeah. and you just get annoyed with them a while. And you're like, would you stop that, please? Yeah. And you go and you like go in on them and you get punished. Well, let's see if he gets something off the grab. He doesn't manage to get a follow up, but he lands on him with a down air afterwards. Oh, another big grab. This is a nice forward smash. Though. Yeah, this could be trouble for Vino, actually. Yeah, Big D, it was like pretty even, and all of a sudden Big D is kind of running away with it. Yeah, well, he's um, he's really learning to get in with those up smashes. And, and there it is. Uh, uh, match two is going to Big D. But he really learned how to use those icicles, or he realized how he should be using those icicles. Yeah, yeah. Ice blocks, rather. Now, as Jigglypuff, uh, best of five, no bands, so. Oh my god. No. Okay. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, uh, his, his friends were just messing with him. Oh, that's Jason in the crowd telling him to do it. Yeah, Dreamland, pretty obvious pick, I feel like. Uh, there's no reason yeah. to go anywhere else, really. Yeah, really. I mean, like, and if Dreamland gets banned, you got a fountain of dreams. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, like, no matter what, Jigglypuff has a couple of pretty reliable stages that you can counter pick to. But this, oh, okay, but this is uh, actually a best of five, so there are no bans. Yeah, exactly. So, and so, that's, uh, and so now Jigglypuff has all the space, uh, gets to live longer, gets to run away more, gets to camp platforms. It's. Very, very much in Vino's favor. I, I, it's mainly the living longer thing, but I, like what I'm seeing from Vino right now is he's falling back on the same strategy a lot. Yeah. A lot. Um, and, you know, I, I don't feel like he has the greatest chance of winning by doing that, but I still think he can win with it. Yeah. Uh, seems to be working for him right now. Yeah. He's oh. separating them. I think like maybe what he was doing is saying, okay, you know, I got to separate these guys. I have to separate them. Yeah. And then just, you know, take out Nana. Yeah. Cleans up Nana. Now he's got to deal with the Sopo. Uh, you know, Sopo I don't know, hasn't been giving him too much trouble. Dawson is getting a lot of grabs on Jigglypuff with Sopo. Uh, hasn't been getting a ton off of those grabs. But it is Puff. So floaty. Hard to follow up on. Yeah, and right now there, uh, Vino missed a crowd cancel punish opportunity right there. Just kind of stood there for a little bit. Easily could have got a forward smash off and ended that stock. Nice back air. Not quite right with the spacing on those back airs, but does pick up that stock yeah. with an up smash. Big D falling back with the ice blocks. Dawson's trying to find a way in. Trying to get under Puff to find that up tiller up smash. Decides to retreat right there. Uh, usually, usually a pretty good choice against Jigglypuff. Yeah. And I think like that's also um, like that also shows that maybe he's like just really not comfortable trying to go in under her at any time. Yeah. Uh, because there's definitely a lot of opportunities he's having right there. Like that. Oh, there right we go. There. That was great. Like that. That totally just blew everything I said out of the water. Yeah. Because he said, oh, "Hold on, I've, I see my window right here, and I'm going to take it." Yeah, he took advantage of it. That's what we were talking about. Uh, Big D, patient player. He's willing to wait for that. He's not, you know, too too eager to go in. He's not going to throw himself into harm's way again and again on purpose. And he's been, oh, he's wow, been, Phantom. He's been playing a lot of puffs in yes. the bracket. Like a ton. And it's funny because Dr. Z has been playing a lot of ice climbers. Yeah, isn't that weird? And you know what? If, if things do continue, they, they could they could possibly... Oh, wait, no, no. No, they would, they would have to meet up in, like, Loser's Finals. Yeah. But, I mean... It's just funny that both of them have just like fought a ton of each other's characters. Oh, good choice. Uh, 
instead of going for the full length on that side B, just lands right back on the stage and starts, uh, goes back into the neutral. Spacing out? Here we go. Oh, he's, oh. oh okay. So yes. we finally see it. Here we go. I I wonder if, like, he just didn't feel confident enough to get it at this point, or he's just like, you know what, I actually want to win this set, and he busted it out. Yeah, I, th uh, I, I think may maybe he's just like, you know what, I feel like I now have to use Wild Yeah, to, to take this uh, set. That's yeah. fair enough. Yeah, it is. Totally oh. Oh, oh, no. Ooh. All right. Good on Vino, though, for getting rid of Nana like that. Yeah. Vino... Uh, definitely, definitely still in this. Although not maintaining quite the same amount of dominance, I would say it seemed like he had in the beginning. Uh, not, not dictating the pace of the match as well. I feel like he's getting a little too antsy too sometimes. Uh, like Big D is outweighing Vino right now. Yeah, exactly. See, that is wow. the third time he has gotten him with that. Wow. Did just this match. Kind of a, when you play like match long games like this and with these two characters, it's kind of mentally taxing. I'd yeah, say. it really is. Uh, a uh, set of endurance. There is a very serious uh, mental aspect to melee in this kind of a match where you just have to be willing. You got to have the fortitude to go those long rounds. Yeah, exactly. It's part of being a good player. Like, yeah. I think a lot of it is is just being willing to do it. Mm -hmm. Just saying, okay, I'm going to do this, and you know, not, not, not letting not your not caving and up. just rushing in because you yeah. want to. Exactly. Oh, yeah, Vino cleans up Nana again. Big D still has another stock though. Yep. Oh wow, two up airs, one grab, oh, a third up air. And now Big D's the one getting antsy right now. Yeah, he wants to make something happen. He wants to end this. I think he wants no, no, to get I, into that, get into that next game without losing too much momentum. I would want to end this too. Just no, go, okay. no one wants to stay in this much, like too long. Yeah. So you know what? Um, if I do die, I come back on my last dog. There's the possibility he could just go ahead and rest my popo. Yeah. And it'd be done. Ooh, that was a right punish opportunity. He tries to take it anyway. All right. Nice forward smash. That was a. Uh, he knew Big D was going to land there. He knew he could hit it. Uh, Fort Smash is a really good kill move. Like, yeah, it is. It's one that people don't really... They don't pay enough attention to it, I feel like. Yeah. You know, unless unless you're like a higher level player. Exactly. And, and it's, not, it's not as actively incorporated as it could be. Yeah. And I think that's because a lot of puffs are so focused on the aerial game. They forget about her ground adoptions. Yeah. And I mean, like, in, uh, on, their oppo on the opponents, too. I would almost expect an up smash before I would expect a forward smash. Yeah. I think it does vary from region to region, but it is one of the lesser used kill moves. For sure. All right, so we're going right back to Dreamland uh, because Vino did not lose here, and he can only not go back to the stage if he wins here. He's a... Uh, this is a strong start for Dawson. Uh, a lot of percent. He isn't taking much. 70 already. Mo moving a little quicker than... Past games have. I think I think maybe they've both lost a little bit of their patience, perhaps. Yeah, I think so too. Um, but I mean, like right now, I believe that uh, Big D is definitely at the advantage patience-wise. Yeah. In the war of attrition, uh, Big D is winning. Yeah. Ooh. You said, yeah. He knows. He knows Vino wanted to hit Nana there or start something, so he goes up and punishes him for it. Uh, that's something you don't see enough lower-level ice climbers do. I feel like using. Nana as bait uh, to get attacks in. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like it's 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 the same as if you're playing a one-on-one -on -one match with well, obviously it's one-on-one, -on -one, but you're playing uh you know like a Marth versus a Fox or something. It's the same as going you know we're both dash dancing and and then they they commit and they do something wrong and okay I see a vulnerability in their neutral game and I need to go exploit it. Yeah. And uh, it's a little bit different because like it's not like tied directly to Popo who is like the main of the two. So it's, people don't usually look at it like that. Yeah. Oh wow, he made it back. That was a clever recovery. See how much he, more mileage he can get out of the Sopo. Ah yeah, he's still using that side B to come down on his opponent. Uh, like Dino just got clipped by it there.
All right, nice backer. He's going to be in trouble now. Oh, nope. No grab. It's on the wrong side of him. The thing is, you have to commit to predicting that recovery at a point where he can still change it. Uh, that side be as puff. You know, I'm seeing a lot of him, of Vino trying to jump and go, okay, I'm going to see that his side B ends up here, and he goes for a backer there, yeah. and then Big D will fall down, or he'll rise up or exactly. something. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, a, he just has to commit to it at a point where you shouldn't be committing to it because you you could miss. Well, yeah, that's that's the problem with Icy's recovery, I guess. It can fluctuate uh, really easily. I think maybe a more viable option would be a crouch cancel. Yeah. Although I'm really not sure how fast the Icy's can get out of that. Looks like I, it's got a decent amount of ending lag on it. I'm not sure either. I Like, this isn't a matchup we see super often. Uh, especially not in Washington where there are no Ice Climbers players. Right. So. And Vino is one of the very few Puff players. Like, we don't have a yeah. lot of Puffs or Ice Climbers here. Uh, there's only a couple. 110%, just about any smash attack for, um, from Ice Climbers, I think, will kind of do it at this point, especially yep. if both hammers hit. Uh, right now, it's looking like, oh, no, no, it's oh, coming back. Yeah. Wow. And saves Nana to boot. So, Dawson playing pretty confidently right now. Uh, I know, I know V, I was actually talking to Vino in the bathroom before this, and he was, he was feeling pretty good about the, about his chances in this set. He thought he was, uh, so maybe, maybe he can pull this out still. Uh, it's definitely st totally doable. Uh, but Dawson's been kind of outplaying him the past few games. Yeah, um, I, like I said, I still think this is in Big D's favor. And I'm, I'm like fairly confident it's going. the set is going to end with this game. But who knows, I could, eat, I could yeah. be eating my words in a second. Vino needs to make something happen. Uh, he's not... Like we saw in the last game, like he was managing to get a lot of back airs on Nana or Popo to finish them off. We haven't seen any of that this game, or uh, unless they're an edge guard. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. No. Doesn't get anything out of that, but uh, he does get that up smash. And I keep nope. thinking I'm going to see another wobble set up here, but it doesn't come. Uh, yeah, well, it looked like he was trying to do it before. I mean, what he did was definitely a wobble. Yeah. So this is Vino's chance. Sopo here, uh, I mean, Big D has shown proficiency in his ability to play this character so far, but, uh, you know, it's still Sopo. It doesn't matter how good you are with Sopo, it's still Sopo. Yeah, you still had a pretty big disadvantage there, but... I think the key element here isn't quite Sopo, it's uh, it's the War of Attrition. I think we've gone back to that a thousand times, but I really think that's the key right now. Even Just being able to... Even as Sopo, yeah. uh, Big D will still be the more patient one, and he'll still be the one to wait this out. That's true. He's just not going in. He's kind of waiting for Vino to commit to things. Oof. <laughs> it's really looking like Brawl right now. If Brawl had wave dashing, this is what it if would Brawl look like. Had, yeah, this is Brawl with wave dashes. Oh, is that, no, he's not going to get anything off that. Yep. Puff's at such a high percent now. All the throws are going to send her uh, pretty high. I mean, <laughs> this is coming dangerously close to a timeout. Yeah. Just saying. Two minutes, both of them two stocks left. Ooh, man. It, okay. it might happen. Jiggly. Uh, I definitely feel like if Vino... Uh, had managed to take the lead there. He is a player that would opt to timeout. If I was Vino, I would be doing that. I would go for the timeout. I would expect my opponent to uh, probably come in enough that I can simply yeah like just take advantage of their impatience. Exactly. But but now we here are at one to one stock zero to zero. <laughs> Taunted with Nana. Taunt. Okay. Because why not? Oof. Right you now. know, adding on a lot of percent, if you can just keep keep the percent lead and keep running away, he might. This might be a timeout. Might actually, yeah, it might actually. Still a minute a and a half left. Um. Oh. Big D's getting into some hits still. Oh, no. Each back air just adds so much more than uh, Big D can add in his low commitment hits. 
getting down to under one minute. And like, I, I don't think it's necessarily in Vino's mind to do a timeout, but he's... Oh! <laughs> that follow-up. Giving the Vino chan the chance to finish off Nana again, but doesn't quite manage to do it. Oh, he's just walling him out with back air. We might see game five. There's 40 seconds left. Yeah, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I feel like, you know, the war of attrition, I feel like Big D's kind of losing it now. He knows Vino can time him out. Yeah, I mean... And he's going in a lot more, and I think it's resulted in him getting hit by all these. Yeah, and the thing is, like... Like oh. I said, I, I really don't think... Um, oh, oh, no! Oh, I thought that... I didn't... Yeah, not nearly at a high enough percent. Yeah. That would be a sad way for Vito to lose it. Yeah. He's playing such a dominant stock. Uh, yeah, this this might be our... Okay, see what he can make happen with that. He tried to read the jump. Wow. Ooh, okay, that's wow. going to be it, though. No timeout. No timeout. Still didn't huh. time him out. So, Those aren't numbers you see on the screen very often, though. I think that's the <laughs> match. Yeah. Uh, that's the only game we've seen come even close to that. Usually, when that happens. Ah, uh, what? We are on Pokemon Stadium now. Pokemon Stadium, oh. definitely. No. No, with the wobble. The wobble, man. Uh, he messed it up. Maybe that's why it just wasn't coming out as often before. He's, I uh, like not that confident or like not fully able to do it. Maybe not, but uh, like right now, oh man, it's looking. It's looking just like a, Vino's really trying to wall him out here. Yeah. And, uh, he should fare a lot yeah. better on the stage though, Big D. It, a lot of a lot of times on Dreamland we were seeing Vino live to some really high percents just because of the stage, and now we're on something that has a uh, a really low ceiling. Pretty easy kills off the side, too. Oh, nice. Vino, uh, he was down in the last game, too, though. And this, with the amount of time this game can last, Vino is definitely capable of, like, breaking down Big D's momentum and bringing it back. Yeah, and it, it does kind of seem like Vino has gotten a second win. Like, somewhere towards the end of that match on Dreamline, he got a second win. Yeah. And said, okay, let me... He stepped me, it up a bit. Yeah, it's like, let me take a deep breath compose myself and get back into this war of attrition thing. Mm -hmm. Big D being careful doesn't want to, he doesn't want to go over there. That's just, that's a bad place to be over yeah. by the edge. Mostly it's just, don't give in to Jigglypuff's back air baits. Cause that's, that's like, that's like Jigglypuff baits 101. Oh, yeah, 101. You sit there, you spam back airs with Jigglypuff, your opponent gets in, comes in, gets hit by him, you start wall paying them out, you get them off the stage, done stop. Yeah. Who's Big D's who? not falling too for it though, and he's spamming those icicles. Yeah, he's he's ready to wait as long as he needs to. Oof. Definitely, uh, definitely the longest set of the day. Oh, by far, <laughs> by far. <laughs> at least, at least in melee. Oh yeah. Like this, honest. Ah, this might actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> this might be the longest set of the tournament because it's going. It's gone. It's gone to game five. Game five. Uh, every game has gone to at least uh, past six minutes. I mean, past five minutes. No. Nope. Uh, Dawson maintaining a a quite a large lead this time compared to past games, though. Oh, he's got the BC boys behind him. Oh, that was, a, that was an odd punish. There you go. Okay. Nice forward smash. And the DI was not with him. No, He's expecting no. to go the other way. I feel like Dawson's just playing a lot pati more patient than he was at the end of the last game, too. He's not letting Vino just go ham with the back airs again. That was a good down smash. Wow. Vino's getting hit for a lot of percent. Yeah. yeah. Vino just, he just kept coming back. Yeah, in. I don't know what happened there. He just kept falling back on him. And he didn't even throw out aerials when he was doing either. Yeah, he just kind of like, fell and just came in directly like I, on top of him. Yeah, I think he tried to do it like right at the last second or something to beat out whatever he was going to do. 
uh, maybe trying down or something. I don't, I don't know what was yeah. going on, um, but it was a it was a lapse in judgment. This match going a lot quicker though. Uh, you know, we're not even four minutes in yet, and Vino only has one stock. A little different from the past games. Vino going for now. I'm like thinking maybe maybe Vino should be changing up his strategy and actually going for Popo. Uh, yeah, because, like, every he, time I think he's focused a little bit too much on Nana. Um, he, get, he gets her there. Oof. All right, could have a stock right here. Yeah, he's going to need to make something happen. Man. I like what he's doing. He's, uh, he's, he's now like incorporating a lot more tech skill. Yeah, uh, like as you can with Puff, he's he's going in with those forward airs, jab, another forward air. Yeah, he's he's just trying to put all the hitboxes out there, covering all the options. There we go. See, well like done. that. Nice follow up to grab. He can jump out, interrupt that. No, he can't get the side B. Big D just catching him with moves and not not dying. Yeah, this is a. Uh, Vino's got a lot of work to put in. It, and at just this pace of a match, like it's hard to say whether, like, well, in, mean, in, like a, in a set like this, compared to say Falco Fox or like Fox Dittos yeah. or Falcons, like you know, they're, they're, the momentum, they're, the momentum isn't there in a game like this, you know, it's because the breaks between stocks and things are so long. Yeah, I think I think the momentum, like, it's there, but it just it shifts so often because the matches are so ridiculously long. Yeah. And, and yeah, there's so many breaks that it's just, it can, it can go either way at any point. Oof. Trying to ult. And that's wow. it. Wow. Wow. That killed pretty early. Uh, unfortunate for Vino, he came into this, into this one really confident. Game five. Uh, pretty good set.